Did you guys know that Kris Jenner has a secret sister? This woman's name is Karen Houghton, and she is Chris's little sister. Over the years, these women have had a public feud that has fallen under the radar. Karen has betrayed Chris by going to the media. She blames Chris for abandoning their family and financially restricting them. Karen even got involved in Chris's divorce, and it got even weirder when she got a facelift to look like Chris. So let's get into it. As you guys know, I do all of my own research, and it can get really sketchy really quickly. That's why I use CyberGhost VPN. A VPN is a virtual private network that can serve many purposes. With CyberGhost VPN, all of your internet activity goes through a secure VPN tunnel. Your IP address is hidden and your data is encrypted. Pretty much this means that CyberGhost VPN will protect you and your device from malicious sites and hackers. But you can trust CyberGhost VPN because they'll never collect or share your data. Another reason why I love this VPN is because it will give you access to content you've never seen before. Some countries or regions restrict content on social media, so you can place yourself in another area to unblock restricted content. This can help you find better deals online, play games that are blocked in your region, or even get blocked libraries of over 40 streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, and many more. If you want to protect yourself online, click the link in my description below and you'll receive a special discount. This is completely risk-free with a 45-day money-back guarantee. So check it out and use my link in the description below. Thank you, CyberGhost, for sponsoring this video and enjoy. So let's break down Chris and Karen's feud because they have had a roller coaster of a relationship. They have taken public jabs at each other and it's clear there are some problems here. So Karen lives two hours away from the Kardashians in San Marcos, California, and she's blamed her siblings celebrity status and hunger for fame and fortune. She says that Chris I don't care how much money you have or who you are. You're my sister. I'm not afraid of her. I can't get to her anymore, but I guess it's the money. She's a huge celebrity and now she has changed. I'm not saying good or bad, but I've seen what it can do to Chris ever since she moved to LA. You guys are going to see throughout this video that Kris Jenner's little sister Karen has had some choice words for Kris in the press. In Kris Jenner's autobiography that she put out in 2011, she was writing about Karen and she wrote, We loved each other and we were there for each other through thick and thin. And to this day, we are a part of each other's lives. So at some point, Kris and Karen were getting along. And back in June 2013, we actually saw Karen at Kim's home because Kim was having a baby shower for Northwest, which is so crazy because Northwest is like a grown person now. Anyways, Karen was outside the home and she was pretty much the only person who spoke to paparazzi. Oh, Honestly, Karen seems like she is a good time, but she is clearly not media trained because when she was speaking to the paparazzi, she shared that she pretty much signed an NDA when she went into this party. So she couldn't speak about her gift bags, even though she did spill on what they were given. It's in the bag. Yeah. Um, surprise <laughs> for the baby. I'm not telling you guys. <laughs> What's in your bag? Can you show us? Rolex. I can't right now, honey, because I, I, I have a disclosure for and of course, Auntie Karen did give away some information because when she was leaving the party, they asked her about the gift and she revealed that they were given Rolexes. Can you show us the Rolex at the box? I can't, where's one of them? There you go. Wow, they gave out Rolexes? 
only at a Kardashian baby shower would they give their guests Rolexes to go. But where did everything start going downhill? Because, I mean, Karen was at the baby shower. It seemed like they were both getting along in 2013. Well, at least in June 2013, because by the time the fall came, they started feuding publicly. So in October 2013, we learned that Chris and... Caitlyn Jenner, formerly known as Bruce Jenner, were getting a divorce. And for whatever reason, Karen decided to go to the press and talk about Chris and her cheating and uh, reasons why they would be divorcing, which it seems like Karen really doesn't know what's going on here. So Karen went to Star Magazine and said that at the time, I'm trying to be respectful, but Bruce is the nicest guy and that Chris has a hole in her and has even cheated. Chris has admitted to cheating, Karen reveals in an interview. It's so funny because I could never see a guy cheating on her. She's so powerful, which is an interesting way that she's describing Chris, especially back in 2013, because Chris is really powerful now. She also went and defended Caitlyn, then Bruce, and says that Bruce was the nicest guy. I do not believe that he has ever cheated on Chris, and I don't think he ever will if they stay together. Karen says that Bruce will find someone else, but I guarantee you Chris will find someone in two days i promise why is karen loki speaking facts there because like um <laughs> chris did have Corey just kind of like show up like almost on command like where did Corey come from and you guys know i've made a video exposing Corey before so if you guys have not seen that definitely go and check it out but honestly it seems like karen's just a little bit like <sighs> bothered by Chris. She was quoted saying, I wish she could have spent a little bit more time with me in the past few years, but I understand that she had a business and she had to be busy. My sister is the person who really likes to stay busy and in control. And I think one of the reasons why this would really bother me if I was Chris is that really Karen speaking about Chris's emotions and how she's processing things because, I mean, there was the divorce, then there was Lamar Odom who was going through his situation with drugs and, you know, Karen went on to say that this really devastated Chris and that this added to stress and it was beyond what any mother could take. She's pretty much doubting her sister saying that, you know, I don't think that Chris can handle it all and she's at her breaking point, which must be embarrassing for Chris in that moment to have your sister go out and speak to the press for you. Chris has responded to Karen somewhat over the years and after that interview, she told Radar, unfortunately, my sister has been dealing with demons for years. I have no idea idea what Karen's demons are. She's actually a, a a cookbook chef, which I think was really interesting, but um, we don't know her demons, but it seemed like this was the spark of their media feud. In April 2014, Karen decided to go to the press again and pretty much call Kris Jenner a deadbeat daughter, that she's not doing enough for their mother. Even though at this point in 2014, Chris was worth $125 million, Karen is speaking out to exclusively slay lamb chris by saying that she has had selfish behavior towards her family especially her elderly mother mary joe campbell which i almost forgot about mary joe I, I remember seeing her on the show a few times and then kylie made a lipstick after her but like what's been going on with mary joe justice for mary joe karen said i think she could do a lot more for her family my mom could have anything she wanted considering if i had three bentley's mercedes cars clothing lines chris has bought mary joe a mercedes so she has done something for her. But I guess at this point, Mary Jo wanted to move to a city closer to Chris and Chris didn't want to pay for the condo. And Karen was like, what the hell, Chris? You have so much money, like buy mom the condo. So then she decided to speak out. Clearly, this is a dysfunctional relationship and including the media only makes it worse. Karen at one point told the mail online that she called Chris and yelled at her because she was like, you know what? You need to help your mom and you know it. And uh, she got the message, I guess. But we also got the message as well because this was a voicemail that somehow leaked to the press and again i don't know how the press is so involved in this feud but we need to break down this voicemail so there are a total of three voicemails that karen left chris that were leaked to the media and it happened in april 2014 and you really can see how upset karen is from these calls Okay, 
I apologize now for the audio. It's really bad. I have no idea why. But pretty much Karen is expressing that she heard from Mary Jo, their mother, that Chris was talking crap about Karen. And Karen's pissed. Like, why are you going to my mom and talking crap about me? And she continues to call her the Wicked Witch. And you can make out some of the words. So I, I apologize for those AirPod listeners. But let's just listen closely. So Karen heard that Chris was talking crap about her, and she continues to share that Chris has been treating her like poop for years. Obviously, she used another term there. But then she called back a few minutes later because she had more to say. Karen is not holding back. And I mean, you guys, again, it's really hard to hear there, but you can hear her saying that she's a B word and that she, um, you know, she's not better than anyone else because she's rich. And Karen had one last voicemail because she had a few more things to say to Chris. That was really hard to hear, but pretty much I believe that Karen was threatening Chris with like going to the media and being like, you know what, like, you know, at this point, I believe like Caitlin was still transitioning um, that like, you know, I'm going to go and tell them the entire story. So tell the press to stop calling me. So at this point, they were extremely toxic. And it does seem a little bizarre that, you know. Chris wouldn't help out her mother because we see in the show that, you know, she goes to these smoke shops and she buys her mom like these pipes to help her smoke for her lower pain. And um, Karen's a little bit like, what, why are you like you're getting her the wrong things? Karen says you can't just go after the money. There's a thing called people and loving your other half of the family because they aren't famous. That's the way she's always been. She's a good person to her kids and a good mother. But would I want to be her? No. After all of this comes out, Chris is like, hold up. You are not going to go and trash my name. So she speaks out. Chris Jenner is not going to take it anymore. After silently standing by while her sister Karen blabbed about her darkest secrets to various media outlets, Chris has spoken out to Radar. Chris claims that Karen doesn't know a damn thing about her life. I'm not in touch with her, but I wish her the very best. It actually turns out that the sisters hadn't seen each other for years at this point, and the last time they saw each other was at Kim Kardashian's baby shower for Northwest. One source spoke to Radar and said that the reality reality is that Karen and Chris have not had a discussion about Chris's private life for 28 years. She doesn't know anything about Chris's family life or her husband, except for what she sees on the show, like everyone else. The source says that Karen has a tendency to be angry and jealous, and that's why she's speaking out, because she wanted to go on a media tour. Chris feels horrible that her sister felt the need to talk to the media. It's disappointing that she has sold her out. I think what really hurt Chris was that that Karen kind of insinuated that Chris cheated on Bruce at the time, and that's why they split, which just wasn't the case. Karen told Star Magazine that, you know, Chris cheated on Bruce, and that was a stretch because Chris has owned up to her cheating past. In Chris's book, she admits that she cheated on Robert Kardashian with Todd Waterman, which we recently talked about that in my Chloe's dad video, but um, somehow... <laughs> 
Karen has morphed this into what happened with Bruce, which is a little bit delusional. As far as the media back and forth, it seems like it kind of ended there, but Karen has made some posts on Facebook. She wrote in April 2014, pray for Kris Jenner, she needs it crazy. She's a nutcase. She doesn't need prayers. She needs sky vodka. Ha ha ha. <sighs> wow. Um, Karen said, I get pissed off at her because she doesn't respond to me. If you think your sister would call you back, she doesn't. And it hurts me. But it seems like Karen could be a little bit crazy. And obviously she's hurt and she's emotional and emotions make us do certain things. But she even admitted on Facebook that she's the crazy aunt and it's fabulous. So at least she knows what she is and what she's serving here. But I think the craziest part of this story is the fact that in 2016, Karen did end up going back to the press. But this time it was to show off her new face and explain that she now looks like her sister, Chris, which this part is so cringe, guys. I cannot wait to talk about this. Now, Karen wants to look as good as her famous sis, who's three years older. Certain angles in my face were just not what I wanted. Okay, no one wants a double chip. So she's undergoing a dramatic facelift. Okay, so I low-key wonder if Karen had this facelift paid for because she obviously talked about Chris in it and she talks about the Kardashians and it's like she's trying to like push a story or a narrative that she's like keeping up with the rest of her family. Of course the Kardashians. I mean, everyone wants to look beautiful. It's surgery day and the doctor marks where he'll make incisions on Karen's face. I'm never against plastic surgery. I think it's important to do what makes you happy. And honestly, Karen looks a lot like Chris after getting her facelift like the before and after she really does look like Chris now it's me don't I look different her transformation is stunning she's the spitting image of her famous sister or just about I look like my beautiful sister Chris and I never thought I would you guys have to admit she looks a lot like Chris and honestly she does look really good like that's a really great transformation I wonder if they like went in with the mindset of like trying to make her look like Chris because it seemed like the interview was all about it but wow an interesting way to like talk about your sister in the press. And since 2016, it does look like the sisters have gotten together one time, so they might be on civil terms. Read the title of this article. Kris Jenner reunites with crazy sister Karen three years after sibling had a facelift to look like Chris. <laughs> When I found this, I was like, what the? only in this world. But this was posted in January 2020. And it looks like the sisters got together on December 15th, 2019. And there they all are. So it's I mean, it's nice that they like can get along and that they hopefully are together. I mean, we don't want to see any families feud out here, but it is interesting to see how Chris is so like down to have her entire family famous. But when it comes to her sister, her her immediate family, they're kind of like not included in that, which I kind of wonder what, you know, what that's about. Remember guys, if you want to protect yourselves online, check out CyberGhost VPN linked in my description below. You'll receive a special discount and there's a 45 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk in checking it out. Thank you CyberGhost VPN for sponsoring this video. So I want to hear what you guys think about this situation in the comments below. Did you know Chris had a sister? Because I had no idea. If you guys have any other video ideas for me, here is my email below. But let's go ahead and open this P.O. Box package item. It looks like it's from Bougie Boutique. Hi, Sloan. I've been a subscriber for a... I was like, um, that looks like... Okay. I've been a subscriber for a year now. I admire your passion, authenticity, and the dedication you put into your work. I love watching your videos. When I pack orders, my small business bougie boutique sells luxury for less. Oh, so a bunch of like designers. Our goal is to help people look good without the hefty price tag. You'll find a little, oh, a little Louis Vuitton. So um, nice. It looks like, oh, you can get 10% off if they tell you that I sent you. I'll link everything below. And cool. It looks like it's called bougie boutique. And like, what is this? I'm like, oh, there's like a little belt thing here. And it looks like it's a little like Louis Vuitton type bag. I'm like thrown off right now like what is this oh it's so cute look how little it is oh my gosh i love that i don't really know like much about like anything but like wow oh my gosh it's got like little it's all like packaged really nicely oh my gosh cute well this is like so la it is so la thank you so much i'm like did you put your name here 
Oh, oh, Leah from Bougie Boutique. Thank you so much, Leah. I really appreciate this. This is so nice and so generous of you. So definitely go and check out um, their company below and tell them that I sent you and get a discount. So I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye, guys. Bye.